hello guys welcome back to sword v channel and please don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel u.s citizenship and immigration services has been making improvements in line with the biden administration's intentions to make the immigration system more efficient and equitable as well as to provide access to those who need services now let's know about some good changes which is made by uscis on the u.s department of state recently one extended validity period of reports of medical examination and vaccination record accompanying green card applications because of covid 19 related delays in processing the uscis has temporarily extended the period during which a form i-693 record of medical examination and vaccination record will be considered valid the form i-693 was previously good for two years but now any such form accompanying a green card application that is filed on august 12th through september 30th will be valid for a period of four years an applicant seeking a green card must file a form i-485 to adjust status to that of a permanent resident in connection with this filing the applicant must have a medical examination that shows that the applicant has no conditions that would predicure becoming a permanent resident for specific health related grounds the designated uscis physician then issues from i-693 reports of medical examination and vaccination record which is usually filed with the i-485 application the uscis has informed the american immigration lawyers association that it is trying to approve as many i-485 application as possible before the end of the current fiscal year to further that goal the uscis is giving notice to applicants that a request for evidence for an updated i-693 is coming that will allow applicants to initiate or complete the new medical examination before the rfe arrives two uscis will let green card applicants apply for new ssn replacement card when filing from i-485 a reverse form i-485 is now available that allows green card applicants to apply for a new social security number or a replacement card when applying for adjustment of status the reverse form is dated march 29th but it has been available publicly only since august 9th beginning october 13th the uscis will no longer accept applications using the older form i-485 in the past, applying for a social security number after the form I-485 is approved, the green card obtained has been a tedious process, requiring the applicants to visit the Social Security Administration office. That will no longer be necessary for applicants using the new form. The USCIS has described the streamlined process as follows. After providing form I-485, in most cases, USCIS will electronically transmit the data to the Social Security Administration. Upon receiving the data, the Social Security Administration will automatically assign an original SSN or issue replacement card as appropriate. 3. National interest exemptions now good for 12 months and multiple entries into the United States. The U.S. Department of State has announced that national interest exemptions are now valid for 12 months from the date of approval and for multiple entries for the purpose indicated in the approved NIE. The new policy applies not only to newly approved NIEs but also to those issued within the past 12 months because of COVID-19 presidential procrastinations have imposed restrictions on travelers entering the united states from certain countries such as brazil china india iran ireland 
and the Shanghain countries, South Africa and the United Kingdom. Individuals will be barred from entry into the United States if they had been in one of these countries 14 days or less before the required date of entry. However, if an individual is not exempted from the restrictions in the applicable proclamation, he or she can apply for a national interest exception that allows entry into the United States for certain specific purposes. Until recently, an NIE was valid for only one entry into the United States and the entry had to be completed within a relative short period of time. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to share the video, subscribe and hit on the notification bell for more updates. Bye.